Hey guys, so a while ago I had done a video on my YouTube channel just kind of showing my process for um, modular scene development that I kind of use on a daily basis and I had a lot of questions about specific parts and uh, things I was doing that people were interested in learning a bit about and I kind of thought to myself I'm not much of a tutorial kind of guy. I help out where I can when it comes to if I know something and people want to know I'll do my best to, to help them and I decided well why not if I have this kind of method that people want to know about why not make something that people can learn from and I had been asked quite a bit through email and my ArtStation account people found me there and some of you even found my personal email I don't know how that happened but uh, well played so I decided to give in and make this little series. I don't want to call it a tutorial as such because a tutorial is kind of saying, well, this is how you do it. This isn't really that. Um, my own theory about this stuff is 3D modeling, not just Blender in general, usually has many ways to achieve what you're trying to do. Not to say that this is how you do it, I find that that's not exactly the right thing to say. This is one way of doing what you want to do, or this is a guideline to help you get to where you want to be, I guess would be more the way I might look at it. But that's what this is. This is just my own personal process that I use to get to where I need to be. As someone who does this professionally on a daily basis, I'm kind of doing this anyway every day, so I decided why not actually just record it and let people take from it what they can. There's just a couple um, disclaimers that I kind of want to get out of the way first. For the most part, I'm not a video editor. I don't plan on editing videos at all. I will take out the occasional kick up that I do. And sometimes I might hit a bump in the road where I'm kind of stumped on what to do next. They'll all be taken out because nobody wants to sit on their ass for that long, looking at me trying to come up with a reason or a way around something. So I'll kind of cut them out as well. But in all, I plan on not really editing these heavily. So it's mostly just going to be real time and it could be for people who are not beginners in 3D software or in Blender in this case, it could be a bit boring until you get a bit deeper into the series where I kind of start doing the exciting stuff and uh, the boring love to but hopefully there's something to be learned by everybody i guess um blender as a free tool i guess is kind of the reason why a lot of people will gravitate towards using this and to learn in blender that being said though i do want to say the odd time i do use some add-ons that are available they're paid add-ons but nothing will ever be relied on as for a paid add-on everything that i do in this series i'll show you how to do it for free in blender as well my own personal opinion on add-ons is I am a huge fan of them. I just think they're the best thing in the world. I know a lot of people will say, you know, oh, well, if you're doing that, you're cheating. And I just tell them to shut up. I don't think they know what they're talking about. At the end of the day, an add-on in Blender is just another tool to get what you need done. It's like everything that people do, they use tools to do it. When you build a house, you don't build it with magic, you build it with nails and hammers and tools. So, I own, my own personal opinion on it is use what you gotta use. I know that for a lot of people, they either don't want to use it or they can't afford to add ons, and that's completely fine. I'm not gonna leave anyone behind a paywall in this. Like everything I do, I will show how to do for free as well. Uh, another thing I want to actually say up front as well is in some of the emails I got there were basically people asking me to send them my work. Don't bother asking, you're not going to get that. The whole point of me doing this is to help people to figure out how to do this for themselves. So aside from the occasional texture I might send someone that I create myself, don't bother asking me for anything that I'm using because the whole point is I want you to figure this out. I'll help you figure it out, but I want you to do the work yourself. If you're interested in learning this, there's no point getting handouts because you don't learn that way. Everything that's going to be needed is free on the internet that, is, that I'm going to be using, so I will be 
given the links to get those assets. And you choose to do with that what you will. But I won't be sending any freebies through email. I don't normally narrate videos that I work on because I have a serious problem with concentrating and saying words sometimes. So you might find that I trip over myself quite a bit. I always do. Um, I will be tripping over myself quite a bit, so bear in mind, it's I'm not the most uh, well-spoken lecturer going, especially when I'm working as I, as I talk. If this was just a time-lapse video and I'm talking over it, I would be fine, but uh, just to note, I will be saying a lot of weird things, and sometimes not even be able to find the words that I'm trying to say. You might notice as well, sometimes the audio quality might differ and I might be using a different kind of themed interface. It's always going to be in Blender, but it might look different sometimes. That's only because I'm kind of switching this between different places of work. Uh, I've got my, my personal computer, then I've got my work computer, and I'm, I'm jumping in between using different systems as I record these videos. So just be mindful that sometimes the interface might look completely different than what it did the video before. So that's a heads up. Nine times out of ten I know what I'm doing, but the occasional time I might be kind of lost on something. If at any point somebody is watching this and I am struggling with something that they might know, I very much welcome any sort of comment. Just uh, If you know something that I'm trying to figure out, I'm always open to learn new things, so please jump in and, and uh, say a bit about it or whatever. Again, this, it's not me teaching you anything, it's just me showing what I do and what I know. But I'm always open to learn new things. As well as that, feel free to criticize. I'll be evil about it. I love criticism and anything that helps me develop as well, I'm, I'm open to hear about it. So please just jump in and let me know your thoughts on it. If this series ends up being something that people want to see more of, um, I'm going to eventually run out of topics or things to say. So let me kind of know what you want to see more try to work that into the, the series as a whole as well. I'm just going to keep building this until we have enough in our library to make entire scenes from. So if you want to join along on the whole journey, that's great. If not, I hope at some point before you leave, you at least leave with some knowledge that you didn't have before. Again, on a final note, I'm not really considering this a tutorial series. It's just something that I'm doing. I'm pressing the record button because this is what I do on a daily basis anyway. It's just a practice thing. I don't necessarily have an end plan in sight. I'm just going to keep creating these kind of videos and building a scene that I can work on indefinitely. And eventually if I run out of steam I'll stop doing it. But there's no end goal as far as I'm concerned to this. I'm just I'm just putting up content that people can learn from and I explain my process. That's all that this is really going to be. So again I don't want to I know in the community post I put up, I did call it a, tut a tutorial. I regret doing that. I don't want it to be considered a tutorial. I can't say tutorial. So, you know, I don't want anything to do with tutorials, basically. So, just take from this what you can, and I hope it's beneficial to you. And I suppose with that said, I guess we'll just get started from the beginning on this.